Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kodash, Barakata. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule world, who labor in this word, and who taught me this truth. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all you Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel in all truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Native Americans, as well as you confusion of faith brothers, man, whose bloodline goes back to the seed of a uh, uh, so-called Negro or so-called Latino or so-called Native American. Now with that, my name is uh, Karataza. I'm from the Detroit camp of Great Millstone. And I'm on my uh, lunch break here at the plantation. So I was uh, meditating at work on uh, what to do a video or piss on. And, you know, what I was thinking about is in order for us men of Great Millstone, as well as other camps, but I'm namely speaking on Great Millstone because that's what I uh, am a part of, man, is we got to put in this work. We got to do this work, man. We got to grind, as the apostles and elders say. So in order for us to put together these video epistles, for one, the uh, the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, has to be dealing with us. And number two, shit, we have to study. Because if we don't study, how can we uh, put together, how do we know what scriptures and precepts to grab to edify, which the word edify means to build up? How can we build up? A video epistle, which is just a letter to those of you who may come across these videos without uh, studying, man. So with that, uh, this is an oldie but goodie, but I'm going to get to it. This is uh, the book of uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15, and it reads, Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So kind, man. When you study, man, in the Most High, his the Most High's eyes are everywhere, man. And when those angels who are the Most High's eyes that see everything, when they go back and tell the Most High that, yeah, uh, he's studying the Most High is going to increase your knowledge in these scriptures, and you're going to be able to, uh, you know, break them down and preach His word, man. You're going to be able to prophesy, man, foretell what's coming, man, and be able to break it down. Because see, it says, a workman, because that's what we are in Great Millstone, we work, man, that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, man. That means rightly breaking this down according to the doctrine, man. That the Most High uh, gave to us. Uh, so with that, uh, I want to get another uh, precept just to back that up, man. And this is one of my uh, a precept that I always remember, and I bring out sometimes from time to time. This is uh, the Book of James, chapter one, and verse five, and it reads: If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High Yahweh that giveth us like it. I didn't even pull up Akim uh, Salakia for that. I didn't even pull up on the screen uh, Second Timothy. So we're going to just get that real quick. Baba Kasha Salakia, forgive me. Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. And for those of you who, so I'm going to read it again. This is Second Timothy chapter 2. Verse 15, study to show thyself approved unto the Most High Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So, Khan, now we're going to go to the book of uh, James, uh, also in the New Testament, James chapter 1 and verse 5. And it reads, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High Yahweh that giveth to all men liberally. And upbraid if not, and it shall be given him. And that word liberally means to give generously, man. So, kind when the Most High, like it says in Second Timothy chapter two, verse fifteen, see you sincerely studying, man, and wanting to and wanting to do this work, 
he's going to give you that wisdom that you lack. Like it reads here in uh, James chapter one and verse five, man. And as a matter of fact, bear with me. I can real quick. I'm pretty sure this a scripture that I'm going to pull out. Before I end this, I'm just checking in my hard sword because all my precepts is in my hard sword. Uh, oh, Khan, Khan, Khan. So lucky about that. This is, uh, we're going to go to the book of St. John. St. John. Uh... Con chapter 5 and verse 39. Con, and it reads, Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking, man. It's in scriptures. Yahweh Shai told us to uh, search the scriptures, man. And of course, when uh, he left, and went back up to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know, the apostles and the disciples passed it on. That's why it's it's in uh, 2 Timothy that we're supposed to search these uh, scriptures daily, man. Now, with that, I want to get an oldie but goodie. This is a classic right here because this is one of the scriptures that I learned uh, when I first came into the uh, truth, man, realizing that I was in... Uh, an Israelite, man. So, Khan, we're going to go to the book of Acts. This is the book of Acts, chapter 17. And we're going to read verses uh, 10 and 11. And it reads, and the, and the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so, man. So kind, man, the church of Berea, they searched these scriptures daily to see whether Paul and Silas were telling the truth of these scriptures, man. And when they uh search these scriptures, they uh shit, they faith increased, man. You know what I'm saying? As long as the most high was uh dealing with them, man. So with that, I'm gonna get one more precept. Maybe I can uh bear with me real quick before I close out. You know, I wanna say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. For uh, you know, even put putting it on me, uh, to uh, do this video epistle, man, to get another one in. Oh yeah, kind. And this is pertaining to the example that I brought out about the church of uh, Thessalonica. GMS endure Alaska one forty four is like okay, yeah. I just met, met that brother a couple uh. Months ago, out in Chicago, man, we stayed at the uh, elder's house, man. Uh, well, I did for the weekend. I don't know how long that brother was out there, but that's a good brother, man. He down to earth. And the uh, the spirit really dealing with him. But, Kanye, this is a precept to uh, what I just read. And it, it's uh, we're going to go to the book of Proverbs because the people in Thessalonica, they didn't believe every word. They searched the scriptures. And this is going to be Proverbs chapter uh, 14 and verse 15, man. And it reads, the simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well into its going, man. So kind, yeah, those brothers in Thessalonica, they didn't believe every word, even though Paul and Silas was telling them the truth about the scriptures. But uh, with that, yeah, kind man, uh, I can, just, every chance you get, study these scriptures, man, and pray to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, that he keep his, uh, his spirit over all of us, man. Pray for the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, man, who've been doing this for 30 plus years, man. Uh, 
So with that, once again, I want to say, call her loyum, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kodash, Barakata. I want to give, which is all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son. Uh, bless you. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say peace, blessings, and salutations to you. I came across the four corners of the globe, pushing this word. Shalom.